Hi, my name is John Leslie, and we're going to show you how to fit your junior's mouth guard correctly. Before moulding your mouth guard, it's important that the mouth guard fits correctly inside your little fella's mouth. Okay, Jack, can you put that in your mouth, mate? Does that cover your back teeth? Yeah. Okay, so all of your back teeth are covered, and it's not hanging too far back? Mm. Good man, so we'll use that one there. Next trick, let's get the jug on, boil some water. Okay, so once the water's boiled, we want to pour it into a cup. There you go, boiling water into a cup. And then we're going to get the mouth guard and we're going to drop it into the boiling, just boiled water. And we're going to leave it there for 13 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, submerged in the water. Right, take it out, shake off all the excess water, really important. <laughs> Blow it off even. And then we go to our little fella, put it in the mouth. It's going to bite down, hold it there. It's going to feel hot, mate, but it won't burn you. Okay, it's going to feel hot, but it won't burn. So we're evenly pushing the front of the mouth, get in the mouth. We've got a three quarter bite that's consistently applied to the mouth guard, so we're not trying to pierce the mouth guard, but we're trying to get a good purchase of our teeth into the rubber compound. So all the way, all the time, you're sucking up, Jack, with your tongue, into the roof of your mouth, sucking up the whole time with that consistent bite on the mouth guard. All right, now once you've done that, oh, taking it out, there we go. I'm gonna drop it there in some cold water, or you can tip it in, running water, okay, so we're just going to leave it there. Give that a try, buddy. Okay. How does that feel? Good. Stays pretty, up in the mouth. Pretty good? Yep. Okay, so that's what we're after. We're after a fit that stays in the mouth. It's got a good purchase on the teeth. Kids should be able to talk with it. We've specifically designed these mouth guard for a really great fit. It's really important to keep that suction on when we're moulding the mouth guard into the roof of the mouth. And as I say, get a good good purchase on the mouth guard for a three-quarter bite. 10, 11, 12, 13. Remove the mouth guard from the just boiled water. Shake off all the excess water. And when you're dealing with a real youngster, it's a good idea, open your mouth to place the mouth guard around their teeth for them. Okay, now you can bite down on my app. It'll feel hot, but it won't burn. Suck your nose, suck, suck, and carry the bite on. Suck the roof of your mouth. Now keep the bite on, keep the bite on at all times. And suck, push the top of your mouth up there. Yeah. That's it, suck up, suck up, bite, bite. Not too hard, so you're piercing through, just a three quarter bite. Okay, sucking your tongue up to the roof of your mouth the whole time, okay. How's that feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay, now let's, let's, let's put this mouth guard in the cold water. We're under, under, we'll leave it in there. Okay. Try that in there. How does that feel? Good. It's going to fall out of your mouth? Stick into your top teeth? Yeah. Great stuff. Okay, can you show me that there? Okay, so when we're sucking up, when we're sucking up the roof of our mouth, we want to draw this part of the mouth guard out so it, so it moulds around the, the roof of the mouth. Okay? Great stuff. Enjoy your footy. Be safe. Wear your mouth guard all the time. And if you need another one, leslierugby.co.nz. We'd love to hear from you. Good luck.